Hello, so this is going to be a Silver Ash from Arknight unboxing. So Arknight is a, a, it's a gacha game. Uh, I played it, but I didn't really like the gameplay. And the gacha ratio is pretty bad for male characters. So I couldn't get into it. But uh, I really like the character art, you know? So yeah. So he, he is supposed to be my only figure for this January. Probably is I order Marth because I play Engage. So yeah, Marth is going to be coming after January. I think June and July will be more scale, more scale figure. Unless there's other figures coming out. But yeah. But yeah, I've been collecting a lot of male figures. I think all of my characters are male, except for the Miku I order. So yeah. Okay, so the box is smaller, so we just make sure that the shipping is much uh, less expensive compared to the others. I wish all box figure boxes are small and compact. <sighs> okay, so here is his box. If you, you can see it. So it's the brass. She's very skinny. Uh, I think the art is supposed to be very skinny. Oops. The, his artwork is supposed to be very skinny. So yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I have um, grip, not grip, I have complaint on the design, but that's just the artwork, you know? Because I think he's, but that's like all anime voice too, so. Let's see. He looks really nice. I got him because he looks cool. And I always, I always tried to get him when I first played the game, but I couldn't. I would like him to have a mini doctor with him, but I don't want to spend money on Nendoroid. I plan to spend more money on Otome and Nendoroid, which they say is going to release, but yeah. So I will show you in a better lighting, because the lighting here is awful. Because it is nighttime and it's winter, so the sun goes down pretty fast. So yeah, so here's Silver Ash. He's really taller than I expected. But yeah, I think next up will be Marth, which I pre-ordered because I played my other Engage. I really enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the characters much more than the the game the character design because I did not like the character design engage but the character is just fun to see and how they interact too I think I like the characters more the three houses like the side characters right because the three houses care um three houses side characters they're all right but I like the lords I feel like the lords outshine them by a lot so here's this he's a leopard what I heard is, is uh, Arknight is like X-Men with animal ears or something. But here is he. He's very uh, detailed. Oh, I like his little leopard down here. Looks really cute. And his face is really nice. It's exactly what is pictured. So yeah. If you can see it. <laughs> There we go. Sorry about the lighting. It's pretty bad here. But yeah, everything is super nice. It comes out exactly how it's pictured. So yeah. I think this is his... Oh yeah, umbrella. Oh, with his hat too. That's cute. So this is his hat and the umbrella. So he came out like Ami Ami took a very long time to ship him out, even though he's already in stock. 
Um, but DHL came pretty fast. It was like, it shipped on Friday. It came right at Monday. So it's pretty fast in DHL, ironically. Because sometimes DHL takes, so, for so far, takes like around four to five days. It's rare for them to take like two to three days. Oh yes, my cat destroying my um, chair in the background. You hear some kind of weird noises. But yeah. go so even though I don't play the game I really like silver ash character design and the figure looks super nice I mean come on it has to be like look at the base I never see well I never see a male figure have a very nice base like this so it has like these um, European theme. So I really like it. So that's why I got I pre-ordered him immediately ever so when I see the whole entire base and everything. It looks super nice. So I'm guessing his feet is right here. I always scared with these things. I actually like that the rod is metal. So you know like Rinwell, <laughs> I I in my previous Figure wheel, wheel, I dropped my Rinwell and the peg down here is plastic. So when I dropped the Rinwell, the plastic chopped up and attached to her leg. So I'm really happy. I think it's a good step where the peg is metal. So it won't fall, it won't break super easily. Especially that Rinwell figure is super, super fragile. So I'm guessing you put it right here. So. Oh. Okay, he's pretty easy to assemble. So yeah. Man, he looks really nice. So he's much taller than I thought he'd be. Actually, let me see. Come on, Mustang. You're so dusty. Yeah, he's much taller than I thought he'd be. He's like... Yeah. Huh. But he is a pretty pricey figure, but he's not as expensive. I think he's like almost 200 including the shipping. That's pretty cheap now. Figure is so much money. I've been spending like 300, 200 something figures, dollars on figure recently. I need to hold on figure buying, but yeah. So I will show you a better version of him later on. But yeah, I feel like he looks, he will look right, really nice. Um, on my shelf he looks super like the back he has a background when you think about it he has like a whole background a whole base and everything so yeah overall very nice figure so let's start with the pros and why i got this figure in the first place so he has a very nice background and a nice base so the background has this gate and this pillar and this lamp it makes this uh it makes this figure very scenic like you know where he's at where he's came out um where he lives i guess it's very european i guess so yeah overall i really uh like how these how unique this figure is um it's rare to see male figures in these type of specialized um designs like this so i i, I just got him right away but i just saw it next is his paint job and the figure itself so it's a very nice figure like I said, I really, I, th I thought he's very skinny at the beginning. I was like, that arm is very thin. But overall, his figure itself looks so re really nice. His clothes and his scarf, it has that metallic gold sheen in it. In it. So another plus is probably the creatures that he has uh, with him. Like I said, I don't really know about Silver Ash that much. I do read some of the stories and um, I only play a little bit. I do skip through the story of Ark Knights because um, it doesn't it, it isn't voice. But these uh, small little uh, creatures, it just add more um, complexity to the towards the figure. It looks like you have more. Than the figure, it's than the figure itself. 
Usually these type of figures only have like the standard standing pose with a black base. So all these elements, it just makes it look very nice and wonderful even though he's just simply standing there. So the nice uh, thing, of, another nice thing is his, I guess what it call a peg. So those things that let attach the feet towards the base, it's metallic. So it's very, it's very sturdy. So usually plastic ones are easily to break if you drop them. So I'm really glad they have a metal one instead. So for the cons, there's no, not really a con for this figure. I think everything is well made and um, well made and well painted. Um, overall, I think it's a very well put together. Like I said, the only complaint I have is probably his arms is a little too thin. But uh, overall, uh, that's pretty much it for this figure. It looks really nice. I think I spent around $167 uh, around the price with DHL shipping. So his price isn't bad compared to like Amiyoji figures or but the more high-end figures. I think it's very worth the price of what you get because like I say it's a figure with a nice base and everything he's not dynamic in any way but all these accessory does add into his uh, uniqueness you know so overall that's pretty much it for the review and thank you for watching